find the equation of the parabola that passes through the point 0 comma 5 and is tangent to the line y equals 3x minus 3 at 1 comma 0 solution. Let's go ahead and write down everything that we're given. So we're told it passes through 0 comma 5. That means that f of 0 is equal to 5. Okay. We're also told it's tangent to this line at 1 comma 0. That means that f of 1 is equal to 0 because it passes through 1 comma 0. And it also means that the derivative of f at 1 is equal to 3 because the derivative of f at 1 is the slope of the tangent line when x is equal to 1 and that slope is 3. Now that we've written down all of the information, let's just go ahead and use it to find A, B, and C. So we'll start with the first condition. So f of 0 equal to 5. So we get A times 0 squared plus B times 0 plus C, and that's equal to 5. So this is 0, this is 0. So we end up with c equal to 5. So we have one of our constants. So f of x can be rewritten now as ax squared plus bx plus 5. To use the next two conditions, well, to use the next one, we can just plug in 1. And then to use the third one, we have to take the derivative. Let's go ahead and take the derivative. So f prime of x is 2ax plus b, right? The derivative of bx is b, right? Think about this. The derivative of 2x is 2. The derivative of 3x is 3. So the derivative of bx is just b. b is a constant. And the derivative of 5 is 0, so we didn't bother writing it. Let's use the second condition. So f of 1. So we're looking here now to plug in 1. So we end up with a plus b plus 5 and that's equal to 0. That means a plus b is equal to negative 5. I'm going to underline this. We'll need this. And now let's use the third condition. f prime of 1 is equal to, now we're looking here, so we get 2a because x is 1 plus b, and that's equal to 3. So we have two equations with two unknowns. We have a plus b equals negative 5, and we have 2a plus b equals 3. And we need to solve for a and b. Let's go ahead and subtract. Seems to be the easiest way to go. a minus 2a is negative a b minus b is 0, and negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. That means that a is equal to 8, so there's our value for a. And then finally, we'll plug a back into this equation, a plus b is equal to negative 5. So we, we get 8 plus b, and that's equal to negative 5, and so b is equal to negative 13. So we have a, b, and c. The last step is to actually write down the answer, right? The equation of the actual parabola. So we have f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus 5, but I'll write it as c. And we'll plug everything in all at once. So a was 8, so we get 8x squared. b was 13, so minus 13x. And C was 5, so we get plus 5. And that's it. I haven't done this problem in many, many months. But for some reason, it felt a little bit easier uh, than the last time I did it. I hope this helps.